Hi, so we're going to look at some send effects techniques in this video and how we can use these to create our quite nice organic sounding drum fills. I say organic because you're creating these fills using the sounds what are there rather than adding loads of effects and uplifters. We're using what's here to create the fills and create the nice automation on the send effects. So I've got a basic loop together here. Bass lead, some vocals, drums. And let's start off by looking at a reverb send effect. And I'm not going to set up something like a plate reverb that's quite subtle and more geared for, for drums. I'm going to set up quite an obvious reverb with quite a big tail. So create a bus send here from any one of these sounds, this drum loop. And let's go into our reverb section. Go for the space designer. And let's go for something like a medium haul. And put the bus mix right up so we can really hear that effect. something like that and yeah it's quite quite an obvious reverb effect but what we want to do now is with that bus sensor up create automation on our bus sends from say this drum loop like that and something like let's do the lead as well And what we can do is just very quickly go into latch mode here for the lead. Play back this phrase, click on this bus send here, go back into read mode. And do the same for our drum loop, put it into latch, click on this bus send here, make sure we go back into read. And then we could either record the automation in live as we're playing back or we can just draw it in like this and just have this reverb send come in like that on the drum track and again on the lead And then we could emphasize this a little bit more by adding some automation to this lead sound. So listen to this lead sound here. And I think using the amp envelope decay and bringing it out like that might work. And maybe even the release as well. So I'm gonna go back into latch mode just to bring up my automation lens very quickly. Play back the phrase, click on the decay, click on the release, and we can see it's added it in automation lanes for those two parameters there. Go back to read, and I'm going to do the same thing again. Just push it up the release towards the end of this phrase, and also the envelope decay. too much on the release there but the synth's opening out the reverb's increasing and then it all drops back down again for that drop and you just it's a great way to break up synth parts or add some like a fill section really but you're just using the sounds what are there and some bus send automation let's try the same technique on this vocal here but let's use a delay this time. So I'm going to go back to my bus, so and create a bus, another bus send in here, and I'm going to add a tape delay. 
And if you're using third-party plugins, I mean, with the Logic stuff, when you add it on a bus, it, it knows you've added it on a bus. It automatically has a 100% wet mix. So there's none of the dry signal coming in because the dry signal is going down the channel itself. But not all third-party plugins will do that for you. So make sure if you're doing a bus send like this, you don't want to send, you don't want any of the dry signal really on this channel. We just want the wet mix, which is just the delay and the dry signal is coming down the channel itself. So let's go for quite a fast. Some more release. Bring that feedback down slightly. And again, latch mode, click on that bus send, bring up our automation lane. Make sure we go back into read mode. And let's just increase that delay send towards the end of this phrase. And the delay actually carries over into the next section, so you get that nice transition. It almost works as like an impact sort of downlifter sound now. 